Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and I am blown away by the fact that I got the my tonic vault sale order so quickly. The vault sale is a seven day sale and at the time of this recording it's actually still going on. And so that tells you how quickly I got this. Now granted, as soon as the vault opened, I was like, I was on it within the first few hours of it hitting the website because often things, especially the more deeply discounted items, which generally is where I like to shop, <laughs> um, they go first and they sell out first. And if you're not familiar with the Tonic Vault sale, basically what it is is every few times a year, I think they'll open it up and essentially they make available for sale um, any past releases that didn't sell out um, that were essentially only available for sale in the month that it launched. So for example, their monthly craft kit, usually you can only buy it or subscribe to that specific kit in that month. And once the next kit is available for sale, um, whether the previous kit sells out or not, you can't buy it anymore until they open up their vault and only if there is actual uh, stock to sell, which isn't always the case because I'm sure sometimes they sell out of their craft kits and, um, and so you won't, they won't, you know, produce more of those. So basically all of these items are, um, I believe limited runs. So once they're gone, they're gone and, and you can't get them anymore. So I've skipped the last couple of craft kits, so that's why I thought maybe I'll treat myself to some of the stamp clubs that I really liked. And um, and I generally don't get the stamp club because at full price, I think it's still a, a reasonable price for what you're getting, but you know, I don't, I don't really pay full price for, for much of anything unless it's something I really, really love and I have like an immediate use for it or need for it. So, um, this is stamp club number one and I think it was something like 75% off. And I believe this is one that has already sold out. And even though it's called stamp club, you do get the, uh, coordinating dice to go along with it. So that's really fantastic. And they do, they do get, um, uh, sent this way with the little storage sleeve and everything. Um, so the storage sleeve has two holes to put into um, a two ring A5 binder. And all of these floral images have coordinating dies to cut them out. You get some sentiments as well. This this floral frame has two dies. You can do the outside cutting edge and then you've got that rectangle to cut the inside aperture out too if you want. And I've really um, been enjoying different um, methods of coloring, like watercoloring, using my colored pencils, my alcohol markers. And I think this is gonna be, um, all of these will be really fun to color. They're, they've got a good amount of detail and nice kind of open space without being too large. Um, so I feel like I can get really nice blends. Um, this one might be a little small, but I really love all of the, the size and the level of detail and um, all of the rest. So that's stamp club number one, which was called Heartfelt Corsage. I think it's sold out now though. This one is stamp club two and it's called Party Animals. And both of these were, well, after my um, craft kit subscriber discount, these were just over $8, $8.09 .09 US. So can you believe a, an, six by eight stamp set coordinating dies for eight dollars um kind of crazy good deal so uh these characters are all super duper cute you get a lot of different sentiments in sort of like handwriting font which is also cute it looks like you get all of the dies even like for these small little little um graphics you it looks like you get all of the dies to cut that out and as well, what's fantastic is, you know, if you're building up a scene, they've even given us some border edger dies. So this is for a nice grassy um, border, and then this is for your cloudy border, which you could even 
you could even um, die cut a piece of cardstock and then use it as a stencil if you want to do an inky background for your sky instead of building up your sky with die cuts. So that's always an option as well. So that's party animals. It's nice, it's nice to see them doing cute characters because I, I feel like I don't see a lot of it, but maybe um, maybe they have been doing it. I, I just have not been paying close attention. <laughs> But I thought that was pretty cute. Then this one is stamp club number five. This one's called Backgrounds and Borders. And of course you get the coordinating dies to go with it. This is cool because I've been really getting into art journaling and um, this whole idea of uh, mark making and um, the style and look of doodles. <laughs> and, and so I feel like all of these are really cool because they're just very um, organic. They they feel like hand drawn. Uh, most of them, not all of them. This one looks fairly you know straight even lines, and that one's very straight even lines. But pretty much everything else has got this very informal um, kind of casual feel to it. Even even these lines here look sort of um, kind of imperfect. Which I think is great. I mean, I'm not, I've never been much of a doodler. I do want to try to develop that skill a little bit. And um, I, I still think that, you know, even though you probably can't really go wrong, I still feel like there's, there's a little bit of an art to doodling. <laughs> and, um, and as I practice that, I'll, I'll kind of flex that muscle and develop it more. But until then, I really like having the stamps so that I can um, use these and and add texture and, and um, different effects and marks to my backgrounds. So those are um, the stamps. And then the dies are really cool because we get some dies that look like they kind of give you uh, a similar look or effect, but in die cut form. So I think these will die cut into your card. These circle plates though, I I think, and I'm wondering if they just deboss um, into your card, but they don't cut through. I don't know. I'll, I'm going to have to play with them to see, but I think they look pretty cool. And I think this, um, this die here with the hexagonal um, lines here, I think that does cut out that stamped image. Um, and I think that hexagon die probably cuts out the solid hexagon here. But what's cool is you get a lot of different words. Um, so these die plates, you can use the negative or the positive letters that fall out. So we have thinking of, friend, you, miss, love, and hugs. And then you can combine it with the stamp sentiments too. So you could do like, love your face. <laughs> uh, you could do, hey, you with the big die cut you, or you could do, hey, you with the small. You could do love and hugs, um, sending hugs, sending love. Um, so you could do miss you. Um, so lots of different ways to mix and match those. So that was Stamp Club 5. I think this was maybe half off. So again, it's a little bit more recent, so it's not quite as deeply discounted. So um, then I got this set, which is Stamp Club 11, for much the same reason as I, I got this one. So this one, 11 is Patterns and Prints, and um, 5 was Backgrounds and Borders, although I plan to use this to build up backgrounds too. So um, what's cool about this is you get a lot of different um, kind of visual interest and textures that you can add to any background that you're building up. So you've got this crackle finish, you've got a block of sort of um, scripty handwriting, then you've got a block of uh, like typeset, like um, newspaper uh, writing. And this one seems hardly legible, but this, this I can actually read. And I want to go back and read this to see if they've like made these um, funny passages or if they're realistic or what, but I can actually read these. So, I mean, when I go to stamp these, I'm probably not going to be looking for perfectly crisp, clear impressions just because they're just meant to create some visual texture and interest as I build up my background. But it, it will be funny to, to read that and see what, what messages or passages they've chosen there. Then we have um, two coffee stain rings and then 
as I was saying with these, kind of a lot of different doodle marks and, and things like that, which I think will be kind of fun to use. So we've just got some tick marks, some, you know, zigzag, all very... All very loose, you know, sort of hand drawn that look. Even this line is um, is very casual. Uh, cross hatching. Now these are more rigid, and these dots are are more rigid as well. They're they look like they're perfect circles, and the honeycomb or hexagon pattern looks pretty um, uniform. And same with this grid here. So there's a little bit of a mix. So you get something that's very geometric and rigid. Then you have some more stuff that's very loosey goosey, and um, and a little bit more soft and curvy. So and you see that in in the two print patterns that we have too. So this is more like you know crisp clean this is a little bit more soft and curvy and uh this is kind of cool this is pretty unique 1111 11. now I wouldn't even know about this if it weren't for the fact that I have nieces and uh anytime I go to visit and the clock turns 1111 11, I hear somebody screaming stop what you're doing it's 1111 11, because you're supposed to stop and make a wish so um so really fun then this has a die set that goes along with it and it's a little bit reminiscent of this one. So they kind of work in the same way where it's a die plate where you can, um, it's perfectly spaced out so that you can cut into your card and use the negative. But of course the letters that fall out you can use as uh, positives too. So you can mix and create new words. With this one you also get, um, you also get additional words and their shadow, um, layer die or the bubble die or backing plate goes by a lot of different names but basically you get that um second die to go along with it for each of these more um uh sort of scripty font words so uh you have the words best friend amazing and wonderful and we got friend over here too but in the block lettering so if you have this, and that's why I picked up both of them. So this is the least discounted. I think this was only maybe 25% off. But I wanted to get it since I, I wanted this one. And they're providing just more versatility and more options for building up my backgrounds. But then um, the die set are really nice too because they kind of play off with one another and they can extend one another too. So here, you know, if I... Um, I just have a different option for the word friend here and kind of a different size for the word you as well. So we have you here. And um, I haven't checked for certain, but there may be some letters here that aren't in here. So it might give different um, options for creating new words. Um, but what's cool is I do like that they thought to give us the individual letter T and the word, the individual letters A and N separately because um, you could do your A wonderful friend, but you can also do your N amazing friend. Um, if you were going to use the negative, you would have to, you know, line these up so that they are um, level with one another, but I like that they've given us sort of both options. And then with the T and best, I'm presuming they are giving you that option so that you can use the positive T and the positive H and E so that you can create the phrase, you're the best. So you could do like the negative, you're use the positive T-H-E, and then um, add the word best. So kind of um, nice to have different ways of using that. And then you have these two die plates. Now they work differently, it looks. So this one, it does look like it has a complete outside cutting edge. So this will cut out and you'll have this sort of grid, um, sort of waffle um, pattern. As a, as a delicate sort of die cut. And then this one, the honeycomb pattern looks like it cuts into your card and will leave that, that sort of lacy honeycomb pattern in your card. So two different, 
two different patterns and two different ways that they work. So this is your kind of verso dye that cuts in, and then this is your um, regular dye that will cut out. So kind of cool to have these, and I think they these two sets go really well together because I think combined they just give you a lot of different options, different styles, different different looks and stuff. So um, so that's why I got them both. And so that those are um, the items that I picked up. As far as I know, last I checked anyways, these three were still available. That one sold out. Um, I'm surprised Party Animals hasn't sold out because it's only $8 and, <laughs> uh, and they're so cute. But I wanted to show that if you are a craft kit, um, monthly craft kit subscriber, that if you have a binder to spare, these will fit in, in the binder as well. Um, they're perfect. They, uh, and I think might be a tight squeeze. We'll see, but I think I can get all four sets in here. They're the perfect size, and as I mentioned, I did skip a couple months, so I do have this one binder. And I, I squeeze, so I, I try to fit four months of <laughs> Club Kids in, in each binder. So there you have it. Four stamp clubs um, in one um, monthly craft kit binder. So that is... Um, what I picked up from the Tonic Vault sale. If you're curious to check it out, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. And when I craft with these items, I'll be sure to um, post videos to my channel. I'll try to try to remember to come back to this video and link to it in case you're watching this um, later. And but if not, the best way to get notified would be to uh, subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell. Thanks so much for joining me today and until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye!